This diagram probably looks familiar to you. Data flows from sources through a warehouse to downstream AI and BI tools. Everything looks fine until a customer flags a data issue. You start troubleshooting, but the context is either fragmented, messy, or missing entirely. And meanwhile, the problem compounds, and you start to lose the things that are easy to lose but hard to regain time and trust. We don't think working with data should be this way. And to help you shift from reactive firefighting to proactive action, we're introducing Datadog Data Observability, now available in preview. So let's say I'm a data engineer at a financial operations company like Ramp, call it Pulley. And there's an issue where the quoted prices are incorrect. Instead of the issue going unnoticed and then eventually impacting customers, I instead get a Slack alert saying that the quoted prices are lower than expected, based not on manual checks, but on machine learning models trained on historical data that takes trends and seasonality into account. And to learn more, I enter Datadog. And within Datadog, I ask myself three questions. Number one, is this real? Number two, does it matter? And number three, what can I do about it? And to answer that first question of, is this real? I look at the most recent data points that failed. And it looks like, yes, there are several occurrences of data below the expectation, so there's probably a real issue occurring. But number two, does it matter? Instead of trawling through query logs to try and find the downstream dependencies, Datadog automatically parses them for me. That's how I know an executive reporting BI dashboard and a table in a vector database storing embeddings are affected. So clearly, this issue does have a real impact. And finally, I ask myself the third question, what can I do about it? And usually, that's when I'm out of luck. I don't know where data comes from because my visibility is limited to the data warehouse. Datadog helps me map all the way upstream, integrating lineage and context across products. So I see this snowflake metric is materialized by a spark transformation, which is erroring out. And when I look into the details of the most recent job run, the caught exception indicates to me that the job expects to see a file in S3 that's no longer present. To figure out what's wrong with the processes generating that file, I zoom out to the full end-to-end -end lineage view. It looks like the S3 bucket is the destination of a Kafka pipeline fed by a microservice. I inspect the microservice that's producing those Kafka messages and see that there is a recent schema change which corresponds to a recent feature push. And to resolve this, I ping the on-call engineer to roll back the relevant PR. What you just saw is a combination of deep data quality checks and machine learning models that are tailored to the enterprise data quality domain overlaid on end-to-end -end data lineage. Now, what do I mean by end-to-end? -end? Well, existing data observability products typically start from the warehouse, then shift one step to the left or one step to the right. But by starting towards the end and with a limited view, the damage is often already done. Datadog Data Observability is the only product that spans the entire data lifecycle, starting all the way from the services and applications that produce data, to the streams and ingestions that move data, to the jobs that transform data through the warehouse, the BI and AI systems that consume data. So now you finally have the visibility across the full data lifecycle to detect issues sooner, resolve them faster, and ideally prevent them from happening in the first place. Datadog data observability helps companies like Ramp, JustWorks, and Glassdoor trust the data that powers their businesses. And if you want that same level of confidence in your data, you can sign up for the preview today or visit us at our booth to learn more. Thank you.